This message was brought to you by the Transformation Church. We present to the lost and found. You know what I'm saying? God loves you. I don't care what they say. I don't care of the church church you might have been into. God loves you no matter what. All right? And we are here to represent God to the lost and found. All right? A lot of times I feel like God has been misrepresented. But it's time for us to stand up, stand tall. Shout out to Pastor Michael Todd. All right? Now he didn't pay me to say this, but this this is his black collection, and it's looking oh so good. What's up, Chosen Nation? I am back with yet another video. All right, this is part two um, to how to test the market out. I know a lot of times some of you guys want to do it virtually, some of you guys want to know is there is the town that I'm in is it is it a good healthy market? Uh, for me to do wholesaling at because I'm sorry not every market is the best for wholesaling I know gurus want to say oh, yeah, you just don't give up and you'll make it now not you got to test your market Not every market is good for wholesaling. It really depends. So go back and look at the previous video uh, If you didn't see that video on how on ways to test how to know if the market you're in or the market You want to be in is healthy enough for you to wholesale and be successful at wholesaling right just think of it as you ever heard of these music artists that come out and you ever heard of the term one hit wonder you don't want to be a one hit wonder that's not y'all you know what i'm saying you want to be someone who's continually making music and, and they still popping and going with the times you know you don't want to be a one hit wonder and then oh yeah what happened to so and so you get my drift so you want to make sure you have a healthy market and there are ways to do that so i gave you guys criteria right go see the last video do not Watch this video if you haven't seen the previous video. Trust me, it goes together. All right, there ain't no point in seeing Coming to America 2 if you have not seen Coming to America 1. White people, I love you. All right, um, so yeah, let's get right into this video. All right, I'm gonna have 15 minutes to show y'all, so let me demonstrate. All right, y'all, so first thing I'm gonna pull up is we're gonna pull up, you gotta make sure the home values. Uh, fall within 100 to 30, uh, 100k to 300k, right? So medium, so we got a medium home value. Uh, so just click that. Doesn't matter what state pops up, right? And then you want to type in any city you want. So if I want to, let's say we do Atlanta, Georgia, right? Atlanta. Come on, there we go, right? So come here. That's not a bad. Median, so that's like the midpoint. That's the median uh, value of homes. That's not too bad to me. It's not too high, and honestly, it's not too low, right? It does go over three hundred thousand, but three hundred thousand is not like a hard stop. It's like a rough estimate. This is eleven thousand over. It's not that bad. This this might be actually a healthy market. Let's let's dig deeper, right? So let's do Atlanta, Georgia. This is what I typically do if I want to test out the market. So pay attention, right? Population. Let's see if they have a healthy population. All right. This is 2019. Let's see if I put 20. Might not have 2021 yet, but let's see. Wow. Five million. That's crazy. I wonder what 2020 was like. Let's see that real quick. All right, five. So that's, guys, five million, that is a lot. So it has a healthy population, right? So it checks off our box on having a pretty well-rounded average home value, and it also checks out our box for having a healthy population. I, so far, I like Atlanta to wholesaling, right? But let's do this. List source. Put a list source real quick. Uh, right? And we're gonna test this out. We're gonna really test this out here. So let's do. Let's do it by county. And what county is Atlanta in? Atlanta, Georgia County. Um. Fulton, Decal, Decal, Fulton. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. See the for Okay, Fulton. Where are my Georgia people at? Where, 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 where y'all? ATL people, where you at? Where you at? Stand up, real quick. 
County. All right, we're going to do Georgia. You could do it by city, but I could do it by county because it's more, you get more of a range. I like county, right? I don't just, unless you're dealing with something like Phoenix, which is like really popping and varies, you know, there's a lot of people in Phoenix. So you can kind of end cash buyers and real estate investors in Phoenix. So you could get away with certain cities just doing a city, but I'm just, you know, but you could dumb this down however you want. What do we say? Fulton? Let's go to F. Where you at? Where you? Where we go? Let's add that to the list. All right, and we're gonna search it the way we search for uh, cash buyer hacks to see where everyone's fixing and flipping. We want to see uh, how many cash purchases were made within that year. You could do six months, but I think a year is a it's more of a healthy healthier timeline um, to kind of gauge it off of, right? So if they're cash buyers, they don't live in a home, right? So you want to hit uh, absentee owned, right? Uh, no preference for trustee owned, no preference, definitely no preference for corporate owned, because typically cash buyers live in, you know, live in this category here. Uh, go to property. Um, um, go to equity, cash, 100% equity, right? So it's gonna be 100 to 100, let's add that. How many people have bought properties cash within the last year, last market sell date? So the last 12 months, right? Click that, boom, add. Look at this number, oh, hold on, right? And then we wanna to go to, hmm, property type. Let's do single family. You can do single family. Um, you can also add, depends, you can add duplex in there. That makes a difference. It did not. Triplex in there, if that makes a difference. It did not. Uh, Multi-family, why not? Yep, did it make a difference? Townhomes, let's see. Uh, slight, a slight difference, All right? So you can add whatever you want. Typically, I really just do single family since that's what I market to off the bat when it comes to me testing out a market. Um, so, uh, even then, let's say you take out these, right? Single family, 271, eh. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. 271, but then again, right? It depends on the times we're living in. Cause right now guys, uh, wholesaling was like booming and people started getting more involved. It was still booming, but then with this whole COVID hit, and I thought, you know, the prices of homes were gonna decline. Some of y'all did too, and it actually did the opposite, right? So people were actually getting their house top dollar. You know, why would they wholesale, so to speak? You had every, every I guess what I'm trying to say is, Wholesaling kind of kind of went down a little bit because the market the, the prices the home prices just went up and then the interest rate dropped so everybody was trying to get into new homes and everything so you know but don't be dismayed because like I said the market changes all the time so what goes up must come down that's where we kind of come in um, but there has been a a, a, a a slight decrease in wholesaling a little bit because of just how the market is right. Nothing that we did wrong, it's just the market, right? But that don't mean you give up, you just kind of wait and see, engage it, and, and kind of tweak your list, and that's why I'm big on list stacking. And um, But uh, 271, honestly, if it, was, if it were me, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, 271 cash buyers bought properties within the last year it's not i I'm, I'm actually surprised because atlanta's a pretty hot little area but uh i would probably surpass this one just 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 me i i probably wouldn't honestly i nah under 300 i i don't know about that i don't know about that so you know i might kind of Stick a stick a pen note, you know, in the land on my map, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know about market to this area. So let's try another area, right? Let's go to uh let's go to Phoenix. 
All right, let's say you you know you hear about no I don't, actually let's go to Vegas why not right don't don't y'all want to go to Vegas let's go to Vegas Nevada let's see Nevada and where is we'll put Las Vegas County right Clark so it's in Clark so I'm gonna do Clark County right let's add that let's take that out of here make sure you remove the other one all right guys look at this. Within the last year, come on, y'all, three thousand. But hold on, this or this this well over exceeds my expectations. I would wholesale here. I'm being just just looking at numbers here, cash buyers. You know what? But let's look at the only cash buyers. Like this doesn't really tell us. Like this 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 information, guys, tells us how many people bought cash in the last year. But if I want to know how many of these people are actual cash buyers real estate investors because a real estate investor is nine times out of ten they're going to use an LLC so let's just click only that's pretty healthy to me I'm just saying that is very healthy so even then I'm probably going to wholesale in Las Vegas and probably be successful so let me do Las Vegas population uh we just kind of entered 2021 but I like a full year over 2 million check pretty healthy population right um so that tells me that i probably won't run out of homes to market to i'm good right i'm in the bonus and over here we're gonna put las vegas um uh medium price for the home value that's not bad right i think i said a hundred thousand around there to three hundred thousand around there to me and meets this expectation what does this tell me guys wholesaling is hot in las vegas you might want to wholesale here right let's do one more let's do one more i asked my girl to send me something let's see she said atlanta did that uh new york said new york city said chicago let's let's do it let's do chicago why not right let's see chicago uh cook county let's do it so let's get rid of this. Boom. This is too easy, y'all. Y'all can do this also in prop stream. But I'm just doing this in list source. I love list source. I'm just saying that's my number one go-to because I've closed deals in list source. Just saying. So I gotta represent. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But uh, but it's also good to try new things. Hold on, y'all. So just so you know, list source will not work unless you choose like a county or geography type scenario. So if it gets stuck, make sure you have a Location picked out. What did we say, y'all? I'm acting like I can hear y'all. <laughs> y'all, Chicago. Like, what? <laughs> what did you say? Chicago. How much time we got? Oh, we got like four minutes. Oh, oh, hurry up. Cook, cook. Like I'm cooking in the kitchen. You know I can't cook. I can microwave something though. Ooh, look at this, y'all. Healthy number. I like it. Well over a thousand. You might say, well, Kenya, what's an unhealthy number? It depends on you. Like, for me, if it's like less than 400, if it's less than 400, if it's less than 400, I'm, I'm probably like, eh. I'm like, is it, is it really worth it? I don't know, you know? To me, I gotta be around that 500 at least. Because some markets, some markets, don't need to be really crazy hot because then that's actually a benefit for you because you're coming in if you're like the only one really wholesaling and you put up your cash buyers in that area you could probably you know do a little bit better than having a whole bunch of competition but that's not i don't like to think competition anyway so i like the hot areas because to me the more more everybody eats right comp you know the more more people don't scare me like i feel like you know so uh, because you definitely do want a healthy population. You just do, right? You don't want it to be like trying to find a needle in the haystack type of thing to find a deal, right? So Cook County, Chicago, I would definitely, and this is only cash buyers, true cash buyers, right? Real estate investors. If I hit no preference, look at this, bam, 3,000. But now we got to come over here. We got to check it. Does it have a healthy population? Let's see. Why did I put China? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all want to wholesale in China? A billion. Chicago. Bam. 
right? Oh my gosh, eight milli? Come on, y'all. And let's come over here. Let's do Chicago. Uh, let's see what they got. I should be a little. Ooh, this is a perfect place to wholesale. I'm just saying, a perfect place to wholesale. Right here, right here, for sure. That falls in line. That's between 100 and 300 thousand. That falls in line, so it check it checks off the box of a good median, you know, median price, not too high, not too low, you know. Healthy population, right, is booming, and then a very healthy investor presence, as you can see. And I gauge this by using this free platform. This is all free. This is, all this is free, y'all. You don't have to pay money to figure out, oh, should I wholesale here? Some of y'all might be in Salt Lake City. Do the same step to figure out if, if it's a good place for you to wholesale at. Um, some of y'all might be in Connecticut. Uh, some of y'all are in Tennessee. These are ways to test out, is my city, is my county, is or, or is this city, or is this county or whatever good for me to start a wholesaling career and be successful at it, right? Because a lot of gurus would just go, oh, yeah, just go ahead, just, just, just start marketing, just start, just start calling people, and just. But they don't, they don't tell you that you need to test your market out first. You don't just jump on in all naked. I don't want to just jump in the pool just butt naked. Y'all want to, you know, test and put your put your pinky toe, your big toe in it. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You just want to jump on in there. No, you know what I'm saying. So, this is something that um. This is something that uh, they don't they don't really teach you guys. I mean, I'm being real, right? You tell me. They don't really tell you guys how to test out the market. With COVID going on, now you guys are trying to do this virtually. Don't just go out there all and spend all this money without testing to see, or at least doing your research, doing your due diligence to figure out, is this a good place? I don't care what my friends are saying or friends are doing. Oh yeah, we, we killing it. Yeah, I, no, I'm gonna test it out for myself. I'm gonna really do the research. Is it a healthy population? Does it have a strong cash buyer presence there? Because uh, you don't want to run out of uh, people to market to. So you want to make sure it's a healthy population where you're trying to start your wholesaling uh, real estate investing business, so to speak, right? Um, you want to make sure also that the prices aren't priced too low and not too high. You want, you, you want a diverse portfolio right and that's based off of my last video i gotta say that right the last video is 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 coming to wholesaling america one and this is coming to wholesaling america two so you gotta watch the one but you get to the two you're not gonna understand you're gonna be perplexed you're gonna be confused all right so make sure you see the other video all right y'all but that's how you test out a market all right and anything you do test out your market test out your market anything you do all right so i hope that helped you guys figure out how to test out your market. I can't, it's stressed out enough. I feel like I keep saying test out your market. I, want, I wanted y'all to get that in your head. Test out your market. How to test your market before actually spending thousands of dollars on cold calling and direct mail, whatever have you, all right? Um, I hope that helped y'all. Great things are about to happen, y'all. Uh, I'm about to launch uh, an app. I'm, I'm, I'm working on an app. For y'all, for to to better the whole selling community, um, I'm also uh, working on trying to find a way that I can actually get more hands on and teach you guys directly. Um, I've done a bunch of free content on YouTube. It's not in order. There's no structure to it. So some people are confused, and I really have a passion for teaching and, and helping other people and seeing other young people go get it and make money. You know what I'm saying? The way that God has blessed me to do it. Um, and uh, I'm all about giving back. So I'm trying to find out a way I can reach the masses and help people. I'm trying to find out, I don't know, what I'm trying to figure out maybe I can do a course or I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I'm trying to think of something that's not too stressful uh, and that can really help you guys out. So bear with me, all right? Great things are happening in 2021, all right? Uh, love y'all, all right? And uh, stay, uh, stay focused. All right, no matter what, stay focused and um, stay consistent and uh, don't give up and keep God first no matter what, all right? Peace out. Love y'all. This message was brought to you by the Transformation Church. We present to the lost and found, you know what I'm saying? God loves you. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the church, church you might have been into. God loves you no matter what. 
all right? And we are here to represent God to the lost and found, all right? A lot of times, I feel like God has been misrepresented, but it's time for us to stand up, stand tall. Shout out to Pastor Michael Todd, all right? Now, he didn't pay me to say this, but this, this is his black collection, and it's looking oh so good. All right. All right, all right. I'm just gonna read right through it. I'm not, I'm not gonna pause, all right? Cause I really feel crazy. Cause it's like, I feel like, it's like silence. Like after I say, anyway. Um, excuse my washer and wash your clothes. I am human. Um, y'all ready? This is a declaration, all right? Speaking positive words into your life, affirmations, that is important. Your words matter. I know they say black lives matter, but you know what? Positive words matter. They matter. All right. I declare that I will live as a healer. I am sensitive to the needs of those around me. I will lift the fallen, restore the broken, and encourage the discouraged. I am full of compassion and kindness. Yeah. I won't just look for a miracle. I will become someone else's miracle by showing God's love and mercy everywhere I go. This is my declaration. Y'all show love. Show love no matter what. Even when you get angry, woosah, and show love no matter what. Put a smile on your face. Make a joke. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love joking with people. I like to put a smile on people's faces. Make a joke. Laugh. You know, compliment somebody. Tell somebody you love them. Hopefully they don't slap you if their significant other is right next to them. But tell somebody, I love you. But then say it with the name of the Lord Jesus because then you don't want to get slapped in the face. Yeah, man. Give somebody a hug. Give somebody a dap. It's COVID. Six feet though. Maybe dap like this or just blow them a kiss. I don't know. Maybe they'll catch it. Maybe they'll smack it. But um, I love y'all. So silly. Peace out. Stay tuned for next time. Uh, I'm out. So I'm never losing. I wrote the vision, made it plain. Now I'm running to it. I wrote the vision, made it plain. Now I'm running to it. And with the Lord on my side, I know I can do it. I can do all things through Christ. So I'm never losing. Man, I do it for my city. Man, I do it for the poor. I'ma build trade schools for all the boys and girls. Cause they need jobs too. Burger King doesn't cut it when you got rent due and trying to ball out on a budget. And I know people get big and they never look back. But I'm not other people. I do not follow the pack, count it up, do the math I'm on a billionaire's path God gives me new ideas in my dreams, that's cash I invest in these shelters where the homeless live Wise enough to know that God blesses me to give That's why I rap the way I do, to represent Christ If God can save my soul, then I can save a life Wings of an eagle, we were meant to fly We gotta love on each other, remove all the strife I was born